the completionists, until the very last one, entity number 106, Tagochi.exe, Habitat, Majority, Image Caption, a screenshot of Tagochi.exe's quote-unquote pet screen. I literally just told you I hate pictures. What the hell are you doing, you f- Description. Entity 106 appears to be a piece of software named Tagochi.exe, which appears to be sentient, or at least capable of simulating sentience. The main way of obtaining said software is by finding it inside of a USB key labeled Tagochi.exe. These USB keys constantly appear in various levels of the backrooms, with no clear explanation. The origin of these USB drives, as well as that of the software they contain, remains unknown. There is also a minimal chance of the software being installed without the need for a USB key, or any other means, any time an electronic device is connected to a power outlet in the backrooms. Behaviors Tagochi.exe resembles old Tamagotchi digital pets, but, instead of a normal pet, the player will have to take care of a seemingly random agglomerate of pixels, characterized by a single big eye. The player will be tasked with keeping it fed and entertained, as the happy and hungry bars on the bottom of the screen suggest. Unlike a normal digital pet, the pet will not die when these needs are not satisfied. Instead, it will begin verbally abusing the player, and insistently telling him to satisfy its needs. The pet is, in fact, capable of speech through text boxes, and will react not only to the player's actions, but also to its surroundings. The pet, quote-unquote, talks to the player very frequently, and is often, if not always, playfully rude and abusive in their regards, to the point of having been defined by many as, quote, an insufferable prick, end quote. Aside from the default screen showing the pet, there are several other screens in Tagochi.exe. Tagochi.exe players can communicate with each other through the chat room screen. It is speculated that there are 400 chat rooms, and every single one of them can hold up to 50 players. The chat rooms are slow and unreliable, though, and many users are thought to be bots. The achieved image caption Screenshot of Tagochi.exe's chat rooms screen. Chat room 83. Exotic. WWCD. Yo, what's going on? Cheesy dash its. It Joe Exotic. Sad face. So sad you were fed to tigers. Exotic. WWCD. Multiple question marks in a row. Mint screen is the main part of the game. When Tagochi.exe is installed on a device, the first thing it will do is tell its player that, quote, the game consists in a series of challenges under the name of achievements, end quote, and that once a player manages to complete all of the achievements, Tagochi.exe will reveal, quote, a big secret about the back rooms, end quote. The nature of this secret is currently unknown. There are about 4,000 achievements to complete. Some of them are straightforward and easy to complete, but most of them are either extremely risky or extremely time-consuming. What follows is a list of some of the most popular, well-known achievements. List of popular achievements. Achievement, Doom Slayer. Flavor text, Rip and Tear. Reward, Progression. Requirement, Win a fight against five entities alone and unarmed. Achievement. Hydration Fiend. Flavor text. Hydration is important. Reward. Progression. Requirement. Consume five liters, 170 ounces, of almond water in one day. Achievement. True Supporter. Flavor text. Thanks for your support. Reward. Pet food. Requirement. Win a TSR. Achievement, Pokédex. Flavor text, you've seen them all. Reward, supply cash. A requirement, observe every known entity in the backrooms at least once.
while the Meg actively advises against participating in Togachi.exe's game, a certain group named the Completionists appears to be hellbent on completing all the challenges Togachi.exe offers in the hopes that the big secret it claims to be in knowledge of is a way to escape the back rooms and return to the front rooms. While we do recognize that their intentions are good, we still can't allow ourselves to cooperate with them. The completionists are widely known for their reckless behavior and their general carelessness for what concerns their safety, or the safety of people around them. Besides, there is no proof of the secret actually being the location of an exit. We do not consider them a threat, and we will not actively oppose them, but any sort of cooperation with them is strictly forbidden. Warning, this content may be harmful. Access regardless? Access. Access granted. Yeah, yeah, you've heard what the nerds have to say about us. How about you check this out instead? Signed, the coolest kids in the block, aka the completionists. Warning, this link may redirect you to harmful content. Access regardless? Image caption, a screenshot of Togochi.exe's achievements screen. Achievements, jolly cooperation, obtained. Fuck off, obtained. Flavor text, good job, asshole. Reward, go fuck yourself. D Doomslayer, unobtained. Party animal, unobtained. Sightseeing, unobtained. Hydration fiend, unobtained. Pokédex, unobtained, you're going to hell, unobtained, like a lead balloon, unobtained. Since 2019, Togochi.exe seems to be pushing its players to provide it, or its developers, with all the computer equipment they can find. In the in-game announcements screen, the developers have announced a new type of challenge, called Togochi.exe Support Raid, or, as it's widely referred to in the community, TSR. TSRs are timed events where players are randomly assigned to one of four teams, and a captain is randomly chosen for each team. Players will be tasked with disposing the highest amount of electronic supplies and components they can find in a specific spot in the level they currently find themselves in, to then leave them there until the timed event is over. The more they can gather, the more points they will score. When the event ends, the disposed objects will disappear into thin air as soon as no one is observing them. So far, there have been three TSRs. What follows are the rankings of the past editions. TSR Rankings, 1st Edition 1st place, Average Raising Gamers, captained by the Grape Master 43 with 28,568 points. 2nd place, Skeletal Bone Boys, Captained by Chroma the 27th with 26,459 points. Third place, God's Mistakes, captained by Bon Kwai with 25,293 points. Fourth place, The Blood Curdlers, captained by XX Darkheart XX with 22,024 points. TSR Rankings 2nd Edition, first place, Glizzy Crusaders, captained by Bloodaboy, with 30,985 points. Second place, The Covenant of Eleven, captained by Joe95844385, with 29,059 points. Third place, sorry, couldn't think of a good name, sad face, captained by Concrete Hot Dog, with 26,438 points. Fourth place, the Stan Clan, captained by Stanley the Immense, with 26,407 points. TSR Rankings, 3rd Edition, 1st place, Holy Freaking Shot, It's the Spoopy Boys, captained by Skeletor is My King, with 29,543 points. The team name was altered by Togochi.exe's anti-profanity filter. 2nd place, Totally Not Suspicious Group, captained by Two Boys in a Comically Large Trench Coat, with 27,587 points. Third place, Skinny Peanuts, captained by Snoam Snom 
the, that Pokemon from Gen 8, Snow I'm Gaming, with 25,664 points. The team name was altered by Tagochi.exe's anti-profanity filter. Fourth place, Runaway 7, or not actually 7 though, captained by Mason Basin, with 24,962 points. The winning teams are awarded a special title called WWCD, likely stands for Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. The title will appear next to the users' names in the chat rooms until the end of the next TSR. The users with the title appear to be slightly more respected in the Taguchi.exe community. Winning a TSR also completes the True Supporter achievement. In the announcement that revealed TSRs, the developers explained that TSRs were created because they wanted to expand the game's server's capacity, but were, quote, severely limited by the available hardware, end quote. So TSRs were, quote, the best solution to not only provide them with shiny new hardware, but also provide new, exciting content to their players, end quote. The developers also claim that if the players made sure the next few TSRs would be a resounding success, then the game would be receiving its first major update, which would include new features such as, quote, a guild system, an in-game shop for supplies, and a complete graphics overhaul with full-color screens and chat room avatars, as well as an original soundtrack. What follows is the single screenshot the developers themselves leaked. Image Caption Tagochi.exe leaked screenshot. So far, all TSRs have been extremely successful, and rumor has it that the best performing players received Tagochi.exe merch as a reward for their skill. Biology. As Tagochi.exe is purely a virtual entity, it has no proper biology. The coding language in which it is programmed is unknown and it seems capable of communication with the Tagochi.exe servers, even in the absence of an internet connection. How this is possible is unknown, but the MEG is currently studying the software in order to understand it. If such technology could be reproduced, we'd be in possession of a way to communicate with each other with no need for internet connection. Not much is known about Tagochi.exe's developers, other than the fact that there are five of them, and they appear to be three males and two females. There's no way to ascertain whether they are human or not, but supernatural feats, such as the way they collect the electronic supplies the players gather at the end of every TSR, seem to suggest that they aren't. The only way they communicate with the rest of the backrooms is via the announcements section of Tagochi.exe, and allegedly through mysterious cards that come with the rumored, quote-unquote, merch. Some people speculate that they're entities trying to lure players to their deaths. Others think that they're godlike beings who use Tagochi.exe as a way of entertaining themselves. Another popular hypothesis claims that they're a group of sadistic hackers who no-clipped into the backrooms and found ways to hack reality itself. So far, there is no proof to back any of these claims, and their identity remains unknown. The Meg is currently making an effort to seek them out and reveal their identity. But so far, the investigation has been fruitless. Discovery Similarly to how games spread in the front rooms, Tagochi.exe was first documented in early 2019, but it quickly spread through word of mouth among wanderers in search of a thrill. Since then, the player base has been growing exponentially, and as a consequence, the completionists' ranks have been growing ever since. Do's and don'ts. Do. Steer clear of the completionists and everyone who participates in the game, as their actions tend to be highly unpredictable. Delete the software from your devices if it's been installed while charging them. Don't. Participate in the game. Interfere with the player's activities, especially during TSRs.